Alright, my name is Rohit Patel. I'm one of the EDICU physicians. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the probes that you see on a normal ultrasound machine. Uh, there's two types of probes. One's usually a flat probe and one's usually a little bit more square and rounded probe. Uh, we'll talk about the flat probe first. This is called a vascular probe or a linear array probe. It's a high frequency probe that generally only transmits ultrasound to about this length and that's why it's, it's good for what we use on vascular procedures and a superficial soft tissue uh, looking for abscesses, cellulitis, uh, or a DVT for like thrombosis. If you can see there's a marker here that indicates the essentially it's called the probe marker and it corresponds on the machine to usually a blue dot or a symbol for the company. Because it only transmits up to this length it has a, a higher resolution so you can see things a lot more clear. This probe is called a cardiac probe or a phased array probe and you can see it's a little bit more square and um, rounded appearance. Uh, it actually transmits ultrasound images up to about here and the advantage of this is you can actually see heart, abdomen and deeper, abdo deeper structures in the body with it. Again you see it has a probe marker right there and uh, as you'll see in other videos it will tell you the proper position of the probe marker so it's very important to know where the marker is on it. It actually has a little bit lower uh, frequency, uh, so what happens is uh, you get essentially a, a higher penetration, but you get a lower resolution in the image. One other advantage of this probe versus the other probe is that it has a higher frame rate. So when you're looking at it, things on the ultrasound image that move, such as valves or uh, cardiac activity, uh, it shows up better generally on this probe rather than the other one, other flat probe, the vascular probe. Now, sometimes you will have a probe in between these two uh, that is called an abdominal probe. You can, you can uh, use that because it also uh, is a little bit wider usually and it is optimal for use for like large abdomen areas that you're looking at if you're looking at gallbladder or if you're looking at um, renal uh, physiology or renal ultrasound. So the next thing we're going to talk about are modes that we typically use in, uh, in ultrasound, in bedside ultrasound. So the first mode we use is the most popular one is called 2D or B mode or in some terms they call it bright mode and the reason for it being called bright mode is uh, the first type of uh, mode actually is not even listed here it used to be called A mode and it just used to show a graph. So they called it bright mode because we actually started getting images showing up on the screen with this. Uh, it's what we typically use for most of our images for uh, basic cardiac, basic abdomen, and basic vascular structures. The next mode we use is color mode or in Doppler mode. Uh, we generally use those modes when we're looking at uh, flow or looking at either arterial or venous flow or if we're trying to calculate if there's mitral or uh, tricuspid regurg uh, then what typically you do is you press the Doppler button and you will get like a square image on the screen uh, where it will actually calculate velocities using the blood flow towards or away from uh, the probe uh, marker or the probe actually. Uh, the last mode that we want to talk about is called M mode. So we generally use the bright mode and the M mode most frequently. Uh, the M mode stands for motion mode and what that essentially does is when you press the button it, it gives you a line and the line uh, will give you a, either a four or five, six second clip, whatever your machine is, is targeted towards of a clip of that particular segment. It's useful in situations of when you're trying to uh, document motion, uh, you know, when someone's trying to review it two, three months later. Uh, and also if you're trying to calculate measurements, sometimes it's easier in the M mode. And you'll, in, the, in this video and other videos, you will see uh, representations of these modes and, and how it will help you out in that particular situation.